Good evening, everybody. Welcome to today's vlog. Today we are working on science fair projects, and Olivia is doing hers on what? I'm doing mine on traits, because it's kind of cool to think about if you actually think about it. Like, if you were to go way back in your family history, you could find so many different things. Like, Dad's great-great-grandma could have red hair or something. Yeah. It'd be so cool to see that. Olivia is doing hers on traits and genetic traits. That's the yeah. scientific breakdown mm -hmm. of it. So she's going to tell us kind of through our family lineage where we get like, I've got blue eyes, but yet Olivia has brown, brown eyes, eyes, right? Brown is overpowering blue. That's how I got brown eyes. That's how he got brown eyes. That's how all of us kids got brown eyes. Yep. So we're going to see whose genes give you those traits. What other traits can you get from? I could do blonde hair. Blonde hair. Blonde yes. Blonde hair is brown. Is brown. It was blonde Yours when she was born. Blonde. Mine is blonde. Some other traits. Let's see. I'm pretty short. You're not going to be breaking I'm, any I'm, height look, records. I'm super tall compared to my dad. I don't know about that, but she's growing. So we're going to work on traits. Okay, show us what you have laid out. So I This is her project board, yeah. and this is all of her stuff, but I told the kids we're not going to do anything on this project board until they have it drawn up. Drawn up, yeah. So show me what you so did. So I kind of redid it on here. So I'd write my family tree right here. Okay. Yeah, I draw these two pictures, and I'd get pictures right here, and then I put lots of information writing down my family tree and I'd like read it off and like have some it. more information. Okay, perfect. So, so now we're gonna build it on this and somehow. Cody Clark, what is your science fair project gonna be? It's about my Lego truck. And what about your Lego truck? How long it is, how wide it is. I don't know how many pieces. You don't know how many pieces? We know how many pieces. 750. So it's a lot more than that, it's a couple thousand. I told Cody the same thing. He needs to lay out, before we write on any of these boards, what he wants to do, and he's got kind of a thought process going on here, maybe a little bit of a storyboard, kind of what he wants to show. And so we're gonna lay his out as well. Cody wants to do his kind of on the engineering of his Lego truck, because it was really fun to put together, it was hard, and there was a lot of what to build it. What do you think? Uh, pieces. Pieces. What do you think the people of Lego do who build those? Oh, it takes a long time to figure it out. Takes a long time. Have you ever noticed on the bottom of any Lego like instructions, there's an engineer affiliated with it who went into it or an engineering team. They have to be engineered completely and designed and mathematically figured out so it works. So we're gonna go a little bit into depth on that, okay? Okay. <laughs> Olivia, I want you to take all of these branches and glue them in the way that we've got them set, okay? It may be a tiny bit big. We got a little sidetracked, but it looks stinking cute. Turn to the side. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is Bali Brand's, um, one of our lounge dresses. Yeah, Olivia is probably a little too small for an extra small. But I'm in large in kids, so. Yeah, so, yeah, she's like, I just want to try it and see. It actually looks really good on you. Dad was like, what are you doing changing? I'm like, it's fine. We're being sidetracked. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it, sweetheart. You're finishing this. Dad was like, come and help Olivia. I was like, she can finish it herself. You know what you're doing. So I'm going to let you finish this. The kids took all of the Insta um, film. and just Cody did. Cody right? and took all these random pictures. And so <laughs> we have to wait to finish taking your pictures. But we went through and we wrote really small whose pictures are going to go where. We'll get those tomorrow. So we'll go to the store and put, get those tomorrow. I'm also gonna put in the description this camera. Oh, I don't even have it down here. Oh, right here. This was the best kids gift in the world. If you're going to get the camera, you have to get the, what is this called? This is a, uh, <laughs> a book for the pictures. Yes. A photo album. A the photo album that comes with it. So these are the perfect gifts for teenagers, for adults, like for literally anybody. So I'm going to put that up there. Did you already tell the camera how excited the kids were to do these? Yes. <laughs> no, I did not. The day before Joel and I were leaving to, um, Palm Springs. If you haven't seen that vlog, we'll put it in the description for you guys, but holy cow, the kids were like, let's do the science projects, Joel. We're literally in the middle of packing, like all these things. Believe us when we tell you how excited the kids are for their science fair. 
and this is my first and last. Time yeah. I'll be ever doing this. Yes, you're on a mysterious project. Do you want to do one? I already had a pick, but I didn't know that we do one. I forgot about them. Yeah, we'll do them next time. I love how like into it they are. I never did this. Did I, you ever? Gosh, I can't remember doing a science fair, but I remember my brothers doing them for some reason. And I remember seeing my parents work with them on it and being like, I don't ever want to do that. Oh, yeah. It was like extra work if I don't have to. No, but not doing friend. it. I think it was mostly my brothers doing it to make up grades. Yeah. Never once. I don't think I ever did it. I was like, heck no. But our kids are smarter than us, so good for them. <laughs> Remember at the beginning of the year when I did <laughs> overnight, what are they called? Overnight oats, like whole, what are they called? Whole grain, what? Whole grain oats. I can't remember what they're called. Anyway, you guys get what I mean. Now we're doing like the instant packets, trying to hurry out the door. Oh yeah. Oatmeal. Um, Hi. <laughs> She's like, I really the want some. There you go. Linky was sad because he couldn't find his blanket this morning, huh? So he's using mine. Is that not the most beautiful color? That's one of um, Minky's newer blankets, and I'll have it in the description for you guys with my discount code. Today is science fair day. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, tell me about your project. So I am working one of my projects on my big Lego set. Yeah. I like about this car is that you can see all the clutches in gears, but watch this. It took me one year to build it. Here's some important parts. Three differentials, six hubs, two transmissions, two motors, 78 sprockets, five pistons, two power controls. There's leveling, lifting, turning, pivoting, and it's remote control. That's the most important part, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> and nine inches tall, and eight inches wide. The crane is 13 inches long. The truck is 22 inches long. Do you think you're gonna win first place? No. You don't, Cody. <laughs> I think he might have a chance. I think he might. Mom, what? can you go downstairs and get the strawberry? I need to write three inches. I forgot to write it here. Do you think if you wrote three inches there, you'd win first place? No, but I need it. <laughs> I've been hearing about traits for I don't know how a long. long time. So it kind of started from class because we've been talking a lot about it in science, in my class, and kind of everywhere. So I thought that I could do my project on traits. This whole side is my mom's side. And this, these are all her brothers and sisters on my family tree. Over here is all of my dad's sides, all of his brothers and him. <laughs> I put my parents right here to show that these are my parents, and they made me, and lots of me, <laughs> and my brothers Cody, Boston, and boy, slash Lincoln. <laughs> he wanted everybody to know that he was a boy, so I had to put boy, slash Lincoln. These are your skin cells, and these are what they were to look like if you were to take a skin cell. If you look right here, it shows that there's a picture of a brown little ball and then a blue ball kind of like an eye your eyes were more likely to be brown if it was brown and brown you'd probably get brown if it was blue on blue you'd get blue <laughs> so so just like my parents my mom has brown eyes and my dad has blue eyes that's how all of us kids got our brown eyes well he kind of got a little bit of the blue he got a green hey Zoli. do you think you're gonna win first place yeah <laughs> Fold them up, let's get you guys to school. I'll carry your paper, you carry your truck. That way I'm not responsible for breaking it. Olivia, your outfit is so dang cute. We bought her shoes to match my and shoes. I love them. They are so cute. We're trying cute. to keep them very nice, so I haven't worn them that too much. Sure. I've only worn them like Make two sure times. Make sure they do not touch sign falls. Okay, I'll hold this. Your outfit is pretty spiffy, Boston, yourself. You might not be in the science fair, but you look really nice. I probably could have been the first place in style. <laughs> what? Are you nervous someone in your class is going to hear me say that and it'll embarrass you? Oh, you guys, when the Just kids start. Care. I know. 
Oh, that is, okay, wow. He's dancing with his Lego. Don't break it, please. Lincoln Roy, can you believe you're at the kid's school? Is this gonna be your school? No. Look at Olivia's science fair. Olivia's science fair in all of its glory. Olivia, what do you think about your science project? She said that I'm pretty good and um, we have to come from 6 to 7.30. They will announce who won first and second and third place. So wow. I think I got a pretty good chance at it. Good so. job, that's fun. Tip has a tent. Good. I mean, <laughs> we have been practicing and you read that sentence without any this mistake. Is my what? You know, like the pink books? Yeah. The pink books? Yeah. You're supposed to go into the orange and then yellow. Yeah. And then I was like so good at the pink. She skipped me all the way to the yellow. Bye! We have been practicing so hard with Cup Boston's reading. I'm so proud of you. Okay, let's keep going. How did you think that word was pronounced? Drum. How did you think d rum was, I was like said? Four, like five. I said like drum. You well to this day, you thought it was drum, <laughs> and you just learned that it's drum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good job. I'm proud of you. Best fifth grade genetics. Super cool, Olivia. Cody Clark, can you believe you got? Best third grade robotics. Are you serious, bud? That's pretty cool. So what'd you get as your prize? A notepad, a pencil, a sharpener, and a bookmark. Cool, are you guys happy that you did the science fair? Yeah. Yeah, I think you guys did so good, and I'm proud of you guys for doing it on your own, and then we'll do it again next year, okay? And then I'll do one. And you'll do one. We are going to close the vlog. Science fair done for the year. If you I liked- I got first place. You did, you got first place. Best in robotics for third grade. Olivia got best in genetics for fifth grade. That's pretty cool. If you guys wanna tell Olivia and Cody congratulations on their science fair, give this video a thumbs up and uh, we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.